think it's all right to touch him? Open to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. Today. It smells like a still. I hear there's trouble in Rosé. That room's as ragged as... You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. Courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Loved plants more than people. <laughs> I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Others weren't so lucky, though. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Please take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Yeah. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. 
That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> 